Hey everybody, it's Lindsay, and today I wanted to go over my favorites from the month of April. Uh, I've got several things that I've just really been loving, and I apologize for this actually being late. Uh, just April was super busy for us, May is even busier. Um, there are four of us have birthdays in May, Mother's Day, just lots of other stuff going on, all good stuff. Um, and it's been so beautiful outside, so we've been doing a lot of yard work and gardening and all this stuff. So. YouTube has taken a little bit of a, you know, a back, has been pushed to the back burner a little bit, but I am ready to be back at it. I have a couple really fun videos planned uh, for this month. So I'll get right into it first. I wanted to talk about a product that I've been using. A lot of these actually I've been using all, every one of them I've been using all month long actually. Um, this first one, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, and this is in Diffused Light. This is the yellow-based one. Um, if you saw my um, dupe video, I was talking about dim lighting. Um, if you didn't see that, definitely worth checking out um, a super cheap dupe for that, um, for what I was looking for. I am looking, I was so intrigued by these powders because I wanted something to give me kind of that sheen, that glow, that maybe a dewy type look without actually being like a dewy product because I have combination oily skin and now that it's starting to get warmer, it's it definitely brings that out and my products can break down. So the idea of a powder that can kind of give you that glow without being sparkly, shimmery, highlight really interested me. So I ended up returning dim because it just wasn't wowing me. I, I wasn't in, like I wasn't in love with it and I had that wet and wild dupe so I figured why am I gonna keep a $45 powder? So I picked this one up and I love this. And I think that's probably just kind of how you have to, if, if you want to find one of these that works for you, um, there are six of them and they're all different and you're, everybody's looking for something different. So what I wanted is exactly like I told you to give you, give me a sheen. So what I do is after all my makeup is done. Now, if I'm in a super rush, I do not do this. Um, but if I'm like taking time to do my makeup, um, what I'll do is after all of my makeup is done, I'll take a brush that I kind of just dedicate to this right now. It's my Mary Kay blush brush. Um, just kind of get the one side in the product. And then what I do is I do forehead. I go down my nose and then I sweep like this. I go over my cheeks and like brighten up this area here. I don't know if you can see, but like it gives this gorgeous sheen to my skin without looking oily at all. Um, so if you're concerned about that, at least for me, I don't, it, it never looks oily, shimmery. It is such, such a fine, beautiful powder. Um, I just don't have anything like it. So I love it. It kind of just, it really does diffuse the light. Like it kind of blurs imperfections a tiny bit, but I don't know if you're able to see this. It is so beautiful. I've been doing, I did it like a couple bridal, I did makeup for a couple brides this past month and used it and I love it. So really enjoying that, worth it to me. Um, took a little trial and error to find this one. So then the next one is another face product. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I am in the color O2 Medium. This is actually a repurchase for me. I had a smaller size that came in one of their kits and loved it and I'm, I use under eye concealer every day, but I am constantly switching them out because I'll find one that I like for a while and then I'll pull something back out from my stash and be using that for a while and then I'll go back to something else. So I'm just always like in love with a different product, but th so it took me a long time to go through that one. But every time I use it, I love it. Like there's never really a reason why I stop using it. I just kind of move on to something different and go back to it. So I ran out and I've been using it, I had been using it a lot and then I ran out so I decided to buy the full size and I love this concealer. It's a doe foot applicator. It is, has great coverage and it's super creamy and super blendable. You only need a tiny bit. I just take it and kind of do like a little tiny dot under my eye and then I take my finger and just dab, 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 dab. And I go around my nose, I go down my nose sometimes. Um, I even use it around my face if I have some blemishes I'm wanting to cover up but it just a little bit goes a long way and I think that's really the key to getting great coverage under your eyes without having creasing because the more product you're using under there the more it's going to look cakey and start to crease so you only need a little bit of this it goes such a long way so it will last a long time 
but I've been using this ever since I got like the entire month I've been using this. Haven't switched out to using anything else. I just really, really am happy with this and it's a great shade for me. So then while I was there at the counter, at the Estee Lauder counter, I was looking at their uh, like summer collection, their bronze goddess, goddess collection. And this is the Luminous Liquid Bronzer. And I was looking at the tester and I put some out on the back of my hand and it was, here, I'll show you. This, this tube is also super nice. This is like their double wear light foundation. It's the same packaging, which is really nice because it's just really easy to get it all out and easy to get just the amount that you want. So that's a little bit, that's maybe I use probably a little bit more than that for my whole face, but you really don't need much. So I spread this out on the back of my hand, pretty color, um, but it looked at least there super glittery. And now that I actually spread this out on my hand, I don't really see too many sparkles or anything, but I am not a sparkle person. I just, I can't get used to that look. And especially for a bronzer, I use a bronzer not to like light me up or have me be sparkly, but because I want to look tan, look a little healthier, more uh, like I've been out in the sun a little bit. So I don't want glitter because I put it all over my face. So I was looking at it and I was kind of intrigued because I'm really into that just kind of luminous, healthy, young looking skin. So I'm interested in a bronzing product that isn't a powder. So she gave me a little sample of it to try. Well, I went home and I loved it because once you apply it, you don't see any glitter at all. Like it just gives you this really healthy, luminous look to your skin. And I apply it with my Sedona Lace 928 brush. This is the flat top Kabuki. I put a little bit of the product on the back of my hand. I dab this brush in there and then I just kind of dab it on my face where you would any other bronzer. And it's, it, it's, kind of a little bit dewy looking. It has a great sheen, a really natural color. It's a little bit more of that um, reddish tone. So it gives you that really natural look. It doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look um, orange at all. And it only takes a little bit, but it just is so pretty and fresh looking and so summery looking on the skin. Um, so love that. What I do is I do my foundation and my powder and any concealer I need or anything like that. And then I put it all on top of that. So even though it's a liquid and I'm using it after powder, it doesn't get like cakey looking or gross and you're only using a tiny bit. So it's, it's really nice. The only thing, um, there was a little bit of time, I've had this more than a month, but there was a little bit of time where I wasn't using it because I was really breaking out on my cheeks for some reason. And if you're gonna be using a liquid product like that, it will lift your foundation a little bit. So even though I'm not like buffing it in, um, I just really wanted the coverage to stay there. So I wasn't wearing it a little bit. So if that's a problem for you, this might not be the best product, but really enjoying it. And I hear that this sells out every single year. Like there are women that go and buy a bunch of it because they love it so much. It comes out every year. Um, but this, I think is the first year for this packaging, which is really neat. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this, I would try and get it because it might already be sold out where um, where you are, but loving that. So this next product is one that I have loved. I'm pretty sure this was in my 2012 favorites. I use this every single day and it was one of those things that I thought about, like, I don't know if I talk about this enough of how much I love this brush. This is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer 57 brush. And I use this every single day. Um, I go back and forth right lately. I've been, um, putting my concealer on with my finger. I just feel like that's really helping it mesh with my skin and blend in, but I go back and forth. Sometimes I apply my under eye concealer with this, um, but I use it to always blend around my nose. Um, and then what I use, um, I, I use bare minerals, bare minerals, well rested every day to set my under eye concealer and just brighten more. I use this for it. I just kind of, kind of dab and it's dense, but it's not too dense. And it just really has good coverage and blendability. I love it. And like I said, I was having, I was kind of breaking out of my cheeks a little bit. I recently picked up bare minerals, their powder concealer in summer bisque. This was the perfect brush to apply that with. It just perfectly covered. Um, Cause sometimes like a normal concealer brush, this is a super tiny one. This is an essence of beauty, uh, but it's kind of like that flat type concealer brush. Sometimes when you're trying to cover up a blemish or something, it can almost highlight it more because 
you're just putting it on that very small area to blend it out is a little bit harder or if you're trying to use your finger sometimes you actually pick up more concealer than you're applying so this is really nice for like just blending out and really softening anything you're trying to cover so highly recommend this i use it every single night and love it all right so this next product i have looked at for years in the drugstores but never got it because it was, it's kind of expensive and i just never really thought too much about it it was like i don't know why i would need that but I've been hearing it talked about so much lately on YouTube, and this is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Spray On Perfect Legs in an Instant. Um, and I know they just came out with a, um, a new formula that's like a, more of a lotion type thing. So I once I'm out of these, I will try that. I first picked up Medium Glow, and this is pretty dark for me and pretty um, kind of orangey. You have to be careful with this. Um, and then I went to light glow, which is like perfect for my legs all the time. If I'm fake tanning, I will use the medium glow, but just for regular legs, the light glow is fine for me. It's a spray. How I've been applying it, I, this is not something I'm, I'm almost certain I will not end up wearing this like all summer when I'm wearing shorts or anything like that, just because I just don't put that much effort in. But we had two weddings this past month so that was two and ryan was in both of them so that was two weddings plus two rehearsal dinners so wearing dresses and i just am not super confident about my legs i even when i tan them you know my knees are a little discolored um sometimes you can see veining or just they're not smooth looking so I love this. It just makes your legs look smooth, almost that look of pantyhose, but without pantyhose. And nobody would ever know that you have something on your legs because at least the way I was, I was applying it very lightly, it's just enough to kind of soften the look of your legs. I mean, my legs looked beautiful. Just the skin of my legs looked beautiful. Um, just really even toned, not blotchy. And I don't know about you, but my shins, are the last thing that tans. And it's like the number one thing other than my chest right here that I would want tan, I guess, and my arms. Um, Cause that's the most thing people are gonna see. Like my stomach will tan like that, which is the last thing I care about because nobody sees my stomach. Um, but yeah, so I, I've been loving this the couple times that I've used it to just kind of smooth everything out, maybe give me a little bit more color. But the way I applied is like with clean shaven legs, um, a little bit of lotion on like after the shower and then I just spray it in my hand or sometimes I'll just kind of spray a little bit at a time on my leg and then rub it out and I kind of work in sections and I already had my dress on when I was putting it on I just kind of lifted the dress up and then would rub this into my legs really well it smells kind of like pastry or donuts or something it smells really good and it stays uh, now I was wearing looser dresses with them I couldn't tell you how it would work if you were wearing like capris or something tight that was going to rub against it I'm sure it could transfer, but I'm telling you, I scrubbed my legs in the shower after wearing this and some of it came off, but then when I shaved my legs, that's when it really came off. So it stays, like it really stays on. Didn't get any on my dresses. Um, so really recommend that. It's just not something I would have tried without hearing reviews like this on YouTube. So, so glad I found this. I think this will always be in my arsenal for dresses nice weather if you want really want to look your best all right so i always do a nail polish this month this is not something that i used like tons this month or anything like that but it's something that i like really tried for the first time this month and have a specific use for it and this is the julep freedom polymer top coat this i got in one of my boxes a couple months ago um, and i remember the, when i was showing you the swatches i talked about how i use this and it, it didn't dry fast, so that's kind of a deal breaker for me. I don't look for my nail polish to last a super long time because I'm, it just already chips quickly on me and I like to change it up. So I want something that's gonna dry fast um, because I'm just, I never have like an hour to sit around waiting for my nail polish to dry. Um, and sometimes it can take more than that. So I just want something that's gonna dry and fast. Well, this is supposed to be like a gel top coat. Um, that's not actually gel. Like it's supposed to act that way, be super shiny. So the directions say to, you know, paint it on your nails and then hold it over. I think it was a 60 watt light, light bulb for like two minutes. Well, that sounds so gimmicky to me. If it's not like, 
when you get your nails done with a gel manicure, it's a UV light bulb, it's special stuff. So to me, it sounded like, oh, you know, we'll think it's like gel if we put it over a light bulb. And I was like, whatever. So the first time I did this, I didn't even do that. Um, or I think I did, but I think it was one of like one of my, um, like the energy saving light bulbs, which is, uh, it is not the same thing, I don't think. So I, but I do remember it was kind of a thicker top coat. So the other week I was doing a manicure with glitter accent nail and I did my normal sashi top coat over top and it just immediately like absorbed right into the glitter the glitter was so rough looking and feeling if any of you wear glitter you know how it is it can sometimes take four coats of top coat till you get a smooth glossy finish um, and then once you have that much product on your nails they will chip the, the whole nail will come off in one big glitter piece because it's just so thick it can't bend with your nails so that can be frustrating so I decided to give this a try. So I read the directions to make sure I was doing it right. I was gonna try it in front of a light bulb. And the other thing is, I saw this for sale at Sephora for, I think it's like $18. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna give this a try because people are reviewing this and liking it. So I put it on my accent nails. I held it over a regular light bulb for two minutes. And I'm not kidding, they were dry. Like if I would have really scratched, it probably would have come off, but they were totally dry to the touch um, and I did not need another coat. One coat was done. My nails were glossy and gorgeous over that glitter. Um, so I haven't tried this over a regular manicure just because I'm such a creature of habit. I just always reach for my sash bead. But I will try this. I It didn't make my glitter last any longer because even with just one coat of this, glitter just always breaks off my nails in like one big sheet so quickly. So I can't speak for that glitter it doesn't say anything about this top coat it's just glitter is always like that for me so i should try this with regular nail polish to see how it lasts but i'm telling you curing it over a light bulb really did work and if you're looking for a top coat that you're only going to need one coat over glitter to get that gorgeous glossy look give this a shot it is thick but not too thick and it just it didn't absorb into the nail polish it was really nice so i've been talking forever but I wanted to include one last thing that's totally random, not at all beauty related, but I've been a bit obsessed with this the past month, month and a half. And this is the Orville Redenbacher's Caramel Popcorn. I found this at Target. I haven't seen it at other grocery stores. It comes two in a box. Um, and I had tried Caramel Popcorn in college that was all in one bag and it popped up kind of already caramely. Um, and it was good, so I, I thought this is what it was and it's not. This actually comes in like two of these in a box and it's got your regular popcorn and then it has the, like a block of caramel. And what you do is you pop the popcorn in the bag, then you um, put it in a bucket, a bucket, a bowl. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> bucket. Now you put it in a microwave, wait, microwave, microwave save bowl and then you take out this big thing of caramel and cut it and put the caramel on top and then microwave it for like another minute and a half until it gets all bubbly and good and then you stir up the popcorn and you would think the caramel would get gooey and stick to the bowl and be hard to like toss in the popcorn but it's not the more you mix up the popcorn the more it just coats and like it doesn't stick to the bowl uh, and then you let it cool for about they say 10 minutes i can never wait 10 minutes but then you let it cool and it get, gets hard and like that crispy caramel coating just like homemade popcorn caramel popcorn it is so good. I know it's not good for you, but just for like a dessert treat or something, it is so good. And it is that taste of home, homemade caramel popcorn without the work. And so I have been loving this, kind of addicted. I need to keep it out of my house now because I was eating it too much. I haven't eaten it in a little while because I'm trying to give myself a break from it, but it is so good. So I just wanted to share it with you. So those are my favorites from April. A lot of things that I really loved. I know I talked way too much here, but I just missed you guys. And I wanted to really like explain why I've been loving these things and how I've been using them. So I'd love to know if you've tried any of these things, what you think, if you have any other recommendations for me. And if you have any videos that you would like to see from me coming up, I would love your ideas. I have a couple planned. I have an empties video coming up. I don't know how soon I'll do that. I might want to wait a little bit and get a couple more empties um, to show you, but I always think those are kind of fun and interesting. So yeah, I would love your ideas, but I hope you have an awesome, I guess almost weekend coming up and I'll talk to you soon. See everybody.